and welcome to this brief tutorial video on how to install Aviva InTouch version 2020 on the Windows Server 2016. Now to begin let's first verify that we actually have a uh, correct system type that meets the requirements to install Aviva InTouch 2020. We see that we are running on Windows Server 2016. This is just a standard evaluation version, has the appropriate number of cores, and uh, more importantly, it has the appropriate uh, amount of RAM. And we've taken the, the time to actually name the computer. Okay, and we've determined whether or not we are going to be in a domain or a work group. For this demonstration, we will just simply stick with the work group. Now, moving forward, let's navigate to where we have our ISO file mounted. So in this case, it would be on uh, drive D. So I'm going to uh, take a moment to mount the ISO file. All right, I've mounted the ISO file. I'm just simply going to double click on it. This will begin the uh, installation process. Now, initially, if the Microsoft.NET framework is not installed or if the appropriate version is not installed, we'll get this dialog here and it's going to uh, install it for us. Now, depending on your system and its resources, this may take a little while or it, make a, it may take a long while. Now, once the initial setup of the .NET framework is complete, we'll get this dialog box here. So we'll just simply select OK and move on to the next step, which is rebooting of the computer. Once the computer has successfully, successfully rebooted, the installation process will continue. And we will just simply go with, and this, at least in this demonstration, we'll go with product base selection and we're just simply going to select in touch uh, we'll just uh, select the root here uh, in uh, Aviva in touch HMI and we'll get both the development and the runtime or you can just simply select the HMI runtime only and that just depends on your particular preference the other thing that we're going to select is we're going to select the Aviva enterprise licensing platform and at its root we're going to get both the license manager and the license server. Now if you do have a license server or license manager running somewhere else on the network this is optional. We'll verify that this is indeed what we want and the next step is to for at least in this demonstration this will show if you show you how to customize the installation if you need to. Uh, like say for instance you want to utilize the InTouch 16 pin trend. So we'll just simply select that and select next. Select our English our uh, language. Accept the license agreement. And so now let us also put in a username and a password and now if that username is not created locally already it, this this will this checkbox will allow you to do that but since it's already here we'll just uncheck it select yes to the dialog informational message and begin the actual install Once the installation has successfully completed, we will just simply click on the configure in the dialog box here. And the only thing that we're going to configure in this case is the uh, license server configuration. And we're just simply going to point it to the local node, at least in this demonstration. If your license server is on the network, then you will just simply point it to that particular license server. So we'll test the connection, verify it's good to go, and just simply click configure. Now the configuration will be very fast. So, uh, and as far as the system monitor and system management server, if you want to configure those, please do so. But in this demonstration, we don't need them. We'll just click on close and just simply exit because as far as we are concerned, the configuration is complete. 
Now you will get this dialog box uh, that says you know setup is not complete, but it is complete in in our in our case. Um, now we're not going to restart now. We're going to restart later because I want to install the license. So I'll say restart uh, restart later, and we'll just navigate to our license manager. And we'll just simply select the Aviva License Manager. Now, once the License Manager comes up, uh, we're using Internet Explorer. We'll just select our license server because we did install it locally. And once it comes up, the first thing we want to do, we want to add a license. And we'll just simply navigate to our license. select it select it in the list and activate once that's complete we'll verify that it did successfully activate and now we can reboot our computer now once we've successfully rebooted the computer uh, let's test functionality We'll go down here to Aviva InTouch HMI, select Application Manager, and let's open the demo application. So we successfully uh, opened the application, and therefore we successfully installed the InTouch. 2020 application or the Aviva in touch version 2020 application on Windows Server 2016. Thanks for watching.